Asia. Hello, guys, and welcome back to Terra Online, an MMO free to play MMO RPG. We have our gunner class now. Oh, let me get back to here. Here we go. We just finished creating our gunner class, and we have just spawned on the brand new island. Now they completely redid this initial character quest line, so the leveling and everything is different than it used to be. Uh, I figure I should go ahead and probably explain some of the things in this HUD first before we get started. Um, they do have... Oh, this is interesting. Oh, this is probably because I have a controller plugged in. Let me go ahead and fix that. Did that fix that? There we go. Much better. Alright, so in our HUD we have... Here's our profile, which you can see the letter down below the shortcut to get that. In order to switch between, like, this is where it's moving with my mouse, so I don't have to click or anything. I can just use WASD and then just move my mouse. And that's one of the things that has been very different about this MMO compared to others that I have seen. Many that I see, you have to, like, click to decide where you're going to go, so it's a lot of clicking, whereas in this, I feel like there's a lot less clicking. It's kind of nice. There is some sort of, I think it's, what is it? I haven't played in quite a while. Okay, I haven't mapped to a different button, but there is an auto run button that you can just hit and then it'll have you auto run, which is really great for when you're traveling long distances. Now, if you want to get into your actual HUD to maybe like exit the game or something like that, you go ahead and hit alt. And then you'll have all of these options down at the bottom. So you can either go to your profile by hitting P. You can see all of your equipment and equip items from your inventory. If you hit I, which is the next one, or you can click it if you can't remember what the shortcut is. Uh, there's also this, if you click this here, this is how you log out. And it's also your options menu, which you can hit O to, to do that. So you can hit O and that's where you can adjust all your settings as well as see your shortcuts. And then you can customize those if you want to, if you want to change them to something else. So that's pretty convenient. Uh, anyway, over here in your profile menu, you've got all of your equipment. Use all, you can also attach certain items for like costumes and stuff. And then PvP and dungeon. And then your reputation, which this kind of ties in with the quest lines, I think. They also have your stats, resistance, gathering, instances, which is kind of cool. All right, over here in our inventory, you can even... One of my favorite things is this auto sort button, so when your inventory gets full, you can just click that. You can also click these in order to kind of narrow down to see what you have. It's, it is like only this amount of space until you unlock it, which you'll get to do at a later point. Down here, K, so you can hit K to see your skills. These are your abilities and stuff, and as you level up, you will get new options and you'll be able to pour them Pour those points, those glyph points, into your different skills to make them better in different ways. So we'll kind of see that as we go as well. Even though I played this game quite a bit, I haven't really done it super in depth like I mentioned in the last episode. I have kind of played around with the initial parts of creating a character a lot, but I have not gotten into like the long end game kind of stuff. Not that there really is an end game because it's an MMO. You also have your passive moves here, and alliance, and then your writing skills are here, which is pretty convenient too. Which, if I look into, where is it? Is it here? Login rewards. Ooh, I will take that. Except, now I should have, where, where is that? I'm trying to remember where it is. Item claim, here it is. So if you have, I have a character or a mount, account items, I have a mount that we actually purchased as like Avo and I's Christmas gifts basically to each other. And so we spent it on Terra. Yes, we did. But what this does, so you claim the item and then you can come into your inventory and learn it. And then it gives you the ability to summon your mount, which I usually put... Where do I put that? I think I put it as F1, if I remember correctly. So anyway, now I have a mount. You will get a horse shortly, but it is kind of nice for these initial quests to have a mount because you can get around a little bit quicker. Again, they have changed this, so I don't really know. Maybe I won't need it. 
Um, then you have your quest log. You can hit L to get to that, and that has all of your quests, as well as zone quests, like alliance quests, and daily quests. And within this space, you can kind of find information about the quests that you're working on. Wow, my words, they're getting messed up. The quests that you're working on, or about like what step you might need to go to next, it can give you a point on your little mini-map to show you where you need to go from there, and stuff like that. It's very helpful. Here you have your equipment. So there's crafting as well as enchanting. Crafting you have to do in certain locations, and then enchantment you can do pretty much anywhere. So you'll get to this a little bit later in the game, so I'm not going to explain it too much right now. And then enchantment, and this is where you can enchant items on the go. You have to have uh, the feed stock in order to do it though, as well as usually some other items to make it happen. Uh, and then your party, if you're in a party with someone, you can do stuff. Social. Ooh, which they didn't- I think this is new. I just did one on accident a minute ago. How do we- how do we- oh. Oh, so what you can do- we've kind of changed this around. So I guess if you type in those things now- Oh, yeah, they'll do the emote. That's pretty cool. What was the shortcut for that? Now there's not a shortcut for it currently. So you can type... Oh, so you have to type it for it to happen. Happy. Aw, oh, it's so happy. Think. Oh, oh, so thinky. Attack. <laughs> Love. Oh, so, so in love. Mwah! I love you. Anyway, so those are the emotes. Let's ch let's look through these last things real quick. Guild and Alliance. Oh, that's new. Crusades are new. It even says it. What do you know? Oh, that's cool. So you can join a different league and do... That's awesome. So that'll be kind of later game, too. And achievements. And then Vanguard Request, Instance Matching, these kind of go within your quests as you go. Parcel Post, you can send items to people if you want, or messages and stuff like that. It's kind of like having a little mailbox. Uh, your item claim, which is where you can get rewards for different things. So like right now there's, you can get these jack-o'-lantern glasses because it's Halloween, or like this beep boop bop bundle. Oh, that's exciting. For your pew pew needs. I'll take it. And then Sleep Nurse, so that's one that you can get as a temporary mount for your new character if you haven't had it before. Dressing room. Whoa, this is new! What? And then you can purchase it with EMP? Okay, so EMP is a thing that you can purchase with, like, real money. And then, oh, now you can buy the costumes directly in-game and see what it looks- Oh, that is cool looking. That's really cool. Oh, there's a hook. Look at the hook. There's wings. Anyway. Costumes. It's cool. And then the Terra store where you can buy a bunch of other stuff. Okay! Are you guys ready to actually play the game? Holy cow! Lots of explanation. Now you can zoom out quite a bit. Or you can zoom in. And once you zoom in a certain level, it'll like center on your character. I kind of like to be a little bit off to the side and a little bit zoomed out, poisonly. So let's go ahead and go over here and talk to this guy. Another thing that's a little bit different than other MMOs is you can just hit F to like go through these things instead of having to click so much. Let's go ahead and read. Here we go. Into the story. Glenock. It's such a lovely place, this island. There's no doubt that this place is touched by the gods' mercy. And no wonder that the children born here have developed the sight. Ooh, the sight. Am I born here? Greetings, Gunner. You must be an A. The children speak highly of you. Thanks for volunteering to help. If you've got your bearings, I have a task for you. We've got an important experiment later today, so we're going to need more samples of the sorrow tree. Can you gather one for me from that root over there? So we just got our first quest. We gotta go gather some roots from- okay, so from this right here. Now, if you look on this little mini-map down here, as you're working, so you have your quest tracker right here, and you can add and remove stuff or minimize them if you don't want it to be filling up the whole row like that. You can add and... Uh, 
Let's move this over here. I usually like to have it over here. Uh, you can add and remove things to kind of see what you need to do next. And then as you're working on stuff, it'll show in a little blue circle on your mini-map, which you can turn on and off by pressing N. So you can see it right there and see where you need to go in order to complete the quest. So we need to get this here. If I hit F, I'll go ahead and retrieve it. And we just gotta turn it in. That's what the little star means, is that you have completed the quest. If it is red, it means it's part of the main storyline. If it is a yellow exclamation point and then star, then it means that it's a side quest that is not necessary for the main storyline of the game. All right. See, nothing to it. That's the island for you. Easy work, no stress. It's as peaceful as a cemetery. Well, maybe that's a bad analogy. You know what I mean. It's such a lovely place. Oh, he has... Let's talk to him again. <laughs> to soothe a crying child. That's really all I need for you today. I have to analyze and catalog the sample you brought me, but that's a one-person job. Actually, there is something you can do. Some of the gifted children, the kids who were born here on the island and developed the site, are playing over there, and one of them, Anya, sounds really upset. Can you go talk to her and find out what's wrong? I didn't read it fast enough, apparently. A lot of people just spam F if you don't want to, like, read it and you just want to play. Oh, look at her! And if you zoom in all the way... Oh, it didn't work. Never mind. You can do, like, a first-person view. I don't remember how exactly. Ah, hello, Anya. She looks so sad. <coughs> oh. Zozo! I can't find Zozo. Where is she? Zozo! I can't find Zozo. They took her and now I can't find her. Niam and the other boys. You're a grown-up. Make them give her back. I'll go see what's going on. Let's go find Niam. He's over here. Oh, look at him! It's a little gifted child. Got any acorns? He he he, she she she, boy or girl can't catch me. It wasn't me. I just wanted to play with Zozo. So yes, I took her, but Peter and Jordan said only little kids play with dolls, so I had to give Zozo back to Anya. But then they said they would take Zozo back, but they lied. They took Zozo and threw her in the bushes. Thank you for being honest, Neum. Search the bushes. Alright, where are the bushes? Probably over here. Is that the bush? Sticky grass. There's lots of sticky grass here. Is, are these the bushes? I don't think these are the bushes. This is sticky grass. Why is it all labeled? That's weird. Oh, I see. There it is. Okay, let's search these. See if we can find them. We found them! Pick up Anya's doll from the grass near the bushes. Oh. Let's actually pick it up. That's a cute little doll. Maybe I can repair the doll. Ooh. Ask Jordan why he took Zozo. Watch this! Just because you're older doesn't mean you're the boss of me. We didn't mean to break her doll, honest. We were just playing with it and it just got into the bush. We were gonna get it out, we just forgot. What's the big deal anyway? It's just a stupid doll. You made Anya cry. We didn't mean to make her cry. We're sorry. We just didn't think. Please don't tell her it was us. Anya is our little sister. Zozo's pretty bro- Ugh. Zozo's broken pretty bad, huh? Wait, my mom gave me a needle and thread. Can you use that to fix Zozo? You could use sticky grass to replace the stuffing. <laughs> It's worth a try. So now we gotta go gather some sticky grass. And as you need these items, as you can see, it will have a little exclamation point. It's pretty good at kind of directing you through what you actually need in order to do the quest. Okay, so we have the sticky stuff. Let's go ahead and go into our inventory. We need to use this. Uh, how do we do it? Press I. Right click the needle to make it happen. Yay! We fixed it. Take Zozo back to Anya. This gun is so big on my back. So big. Such a whiny little girl. Oh, I didn't read it! Sorry. Play with Anya and Zozo. That's a very large arrow. It's not usually do doing that. Interesting. Entertain Anya. Uh, time flies as you play with Anya. This is interesting. Oh. What just happened? Alright, let's talk to Anya again. Do you want to play? We're all out of tea, and eh? Do we have to go back already? I'd rather play some more than take one of my naps. We can play again tomorrow. You promise? Because tonight is the last time I have to do the sleep experiment. They said so. 
Everybody thinks the site is so special, but I don't like taking naps. I just want to play. Say you promise, Anae. I promise, Anya. Looks like we gotta talk to her one more time. Come back! Come back, gifted child! I must speak to you. Looking for me? Taryn is sad because the gods won't wake up. I hope he's all. I hope I always wake up. It got dark. I don't think Taryn feels good. I'm scared, Anae. Do you wanna play? Oh no, Gillydews! They're mean! They steal s the sap from Tyrion's roots and make her sick! You have to stop them, Anae! I'll go get Uncle Imun. Okay, don't get too close to them. Now I gotta... Ooh, defeat these guys! So now we get to do our first attack damage. Oh wow, we don't do a whole lot of damage, do we? And then we can right-click to do our secondary skill, which is our nice little dodge. So for some of them it would be a block instead. It does have a recharge time, as you can see. Yeah, one down. Then I can just hit F, kind of spam F to pick up those items. I'm doing a lot of, like, explanation, but I don't know if you guys actually want to hear that. So if you guys get bored with me explaining everything and you would r rather me just, just play, I can do that. Two at once, that's right! Let's take out this guy. And they have those moats like I just picked up. I don't know if you guys saw it, but that'll heal me. And that's something that the mystics can actually create and drop for their teammates too. Yeah, buddy. Talk to Imun. He's over this way. You just defeated three Gillitoos pretty much by yourself, Anae. If I hadn't- pretty much. I did it by myself. <laughs> if I hadn't seen it, I wouldn't have believed it. I wonder what they're doing here. We've never had Gillitoos out on the island before. How did they even get here? Thank the gods you're alright. Yay, I leveled up! So we got to skill level two. Gillitoos sprout from a sort of prime Gillihoo. It's usually the biggest one, and the most dangerous. If we can identify and destroy that one, the others will be too afraid to stick around. I'll take Anya to safety back in the village. I'll be back as soon as I can. Meanwhile, see if you can find the prime Gelly too. And this also shows you what the rewards are going to be, so it's an upgraded weapon. Talk to Varkus, the prime Gelly too. Talk to him? Not kill him? Oh, there he is. Let's go ahead and check our inventory. We don't have anything super special. What's this? To manually learn how to summon... Interesting. Hi. I need- oh, defeat you. I thought it said I needed to talk to you. That was weird. Roll! Roll! Uh-oh. Dodge. Right now things are pretty basic because we just have the one move. Uh oh. Dunzo. You can access the help me menu by pressing H. So this is where you can learn a bunch of stuff, like beginner stuff if you want to know how to do things. You can just hit H to find that information. Go to Shade Tree. Up here and to the right. This is really beautiful. Look at it. It's a whole new island. This used to be called the Island of Dawn and it was kind of a different scenario. So they've changed up the story a little bit to make it make a little more sense as to who you are and why you're here. There's a foul smell in the air. Approach the stinking mud and press F to investigate. Ew, stinking mud. Grody. Oh, go yay. So excited about that stinky mud. Huzzah, stinky yeah. mud. Yas. My favorite. Yeah. All right, report to Iman. Iman? Iman? Iman. 
He looks kind of fancy, don't he? Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Anya couldn't stop talking about you, Anna. I think you've got an admirer. You killed the prime Gillidhu all by yourself? And you found Gillidhu's seeds too? Ha! You're the making us guardians look bad, Anna. Don't worry about the remaining Gillidhus. I'll take the guardian down later and finish them off. And without those seeds, they won't be able to, well, take root. Glad I could help. In the name of science. You've done enough for one day. I'll have some of my people inspect the path for more seeds, but I think you dug up plenty. Anya was asking about you, by the way. She's at the temple with Glenock and the other children, getting ready to sleep for the big sleep experiment today. I think Anya is feeling anxious about it. I know it's a tremendous burden for the kids, and I think having you there might reassure her. You should go up and see her, even if it's only for a few moments. All right, let's go ahead and head up there. Oh, let's check this out. This is so pretty, this little town. And look at that tree. Oh, oh so pretty. The windmills. This is really gorgeous. It's completely different, like I said. Ugh. I keep repeating myself, but it'll just it's so cool. Ooh, I think we'll get to talk to her in a minute. But you can balance. learn skills from these instructors. Ooh, I can't learn something. Learn. And it automatically put it there. What do you know? But what you can do is once you've learned your skills, you can hit K and then you can like drag them down here if you want to assign them to a certain thing. Pretty cool. Alright, let's head up here. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at the big green crystal. The crystal! All of these children were born here. Oh, we've already seen that. Oh, no, we haven't, actually. They will truly... They will... They see with truly divine clarity, but only when they sleep. Our research suggests that it has something to do with the sap of the sorrow tree. I wonder what the sorrow tree is. Oh, there you are, Nay. I was just explaining today's experiment to the children. It's important that they understand what an amazing gift the sight is, and that their partisan... Ugh, and that their participation in these experiments is purely voluntary. We were just about to make an offering to the spirit of Tyran. Would you care to join us? I'd be honored. When you're ready, pour some water on the Tyran sapling here. The children will then perform the invocation to Tyrion. Tyr Tyran. It's really all there is. We're ready when you are. Okay. Pour water on the sapling. Where's the... Oh, it's right there. Ah, it's so tiny and cute! Look at the little sapling! It's so baby! I missed. <laughs> I missed the sapling. That was quick. Mm -mm -mm. That has never happened before. Those lights? The sapling growing like that? I'm starting to think that Anya might be right. You're clearly something special. Someone with an important destiny. I don't feel particularly special. I'd like to do a test, if you don't mind. Let me get set up here. I'll need some of Tyrion's sap from our storehouse. Take Anya with you. She knows which sap I need. And she can show you where we keep it. I'm on my way. I didn't see it grow. Did you guys see it grow? Maybe it did grow and I just missed it. But apparently it grew. Alright, Anya, the gifted child. Do you want to play? No. Come with me, Anae. I know where the sap is. Okay, I'll Looking follow you. Oh, you have to click it sometimes. Because it comes... Sometimes you have to, like, protect people as you go. On little quests and stuff. So this is going to take two minutes. As you can see over on the right-hand side, with this quest, there's actually, like, a little timer. You and Zozo are the best friends ever! Zo 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 the bear zo 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 the bear bear da bear bear she's really sing songy isn't she okay so here's the sap jar ooh this is so pretty what just happened here it is let's go ahead and grab the sap uh oh. What was that? An impact somewhere outside? I can't even move yet. Wow. 
That was intense. Oh, man. And guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.